Welcome back, guys. Before we went to break, I was playing the, uh, the cremation of care ceremony or a, a clip from the ceremony itself. What I didn't get a chance to tell you before the break was what exactly the ceremony is for. Basically, the cremation of care is they're shedding their care about what they do. They're, they're getting rid of the, their care of all the evil crap that they do. So when people say, how do these people sleep at night? Well, that's how they sleep at night. Because they do a old Babylonian ceremony where they get rid of this, you know, their care. They, they, they worship this Babylonian deity and do mock human sacrifices to get rid of their, their feelings about the evil things that they do. So that's how these guys sleep at night. It's, it, there's no words to really describe the things that go on there. I mean, it, uh, aside from the, the creepy... Um, uh, and not 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 occult stuff. Uh, the, the the other creepy stuff, you know, the the, the cross dressing, running around, spanking each other, pretend, you know, going by different names, pretending to be other people, you know, all these weird, you know, like transsexual, you know, cross dressing sex parties they have, uh, and then they mix it in with their Luciferian, you know, uh, aside from worshiping Molech, remember these people are Luciferian, so they they have all their other little ceremonies and rituals and weird things that they do there and they're hiding themselves deep in the redwood forest so it's just a very creepy setting to begin with you know this is the one time i wish jason Voorhees would come out of the woods with his hockey mask and his machete and start going to town because you know you could shoot jason and he doesn't die so they wouldn't stand a chance right anyway that was a little joke people what do you say we call cnn call the tip line here and let's see if they want to do a story about the Bohemian Grove. Let's see if we can get her to at least look it up. And I have to give credit where credit is due. We tried this on Bob Tuscan's show earlier, and there were some technical difficulties with uh, CNN's line, so we had to work it out. But I think we might be able to get this done, so let's see. Let's call them up right now. Thank you for calling CNN, the world's leading 24-hour news network. If you are calling with... You have reached the CNN News Tip Hotline. Please be advised that any non-news tip call to this hotline will be disconnected in order to keep this line free for news tips and breaking news. To speak with our news tip team now, please press 1. If you selected this option in error, please press the... Pa- All calls are monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Thank you for calling, and please hold. Calls are answered in the order in which they are received. CNN, where's your breaking news tip? Hi, my name is George Prouty. I'm with the South Florida News Network. We're a small investigative uh, journalist, newspaper, and uh, website. And um, I just wanted to give you guys a news tip that I just noticed that nobody was talking about it's have you ever heard of the bohemian grove uh yes yes uh it's like a two-week a two-week retreat of the world's like uber elite all these politicians from all over the world they they meet at like this this retreat in the woods this like getaway camp or something they have and they they mm-hmm. they set like that's where they they set policy and stuff um i, I, right. I assume you've heard of that right Okay, uh, mm-hmm. you know, like Henry Kissinger, and uh, the president himself is rumored to uh, going to be showing up there, as well as the president of Australia, and uh, I mean, it, this goes back to like the, the late eighteen hundreds, and they do um, some kind of weird ceremonies that where they worship a, a large forty five foot stone owl, which is a little creepy because this is the world's leaders. So I was hoping maybe if I brought this to you guys' attention, you guys, you know, being you know, CNN, you guys, you know, could bring some power to it. I was hoping maybe you guys could give it some some life and show the the world what's going on. 
Okay, well, we'll definitely um, take a look into it and uh, make sure that that is something that's on our radar. Yeah, because I mean, it's it's very important. You know, it's again, you know, these these politicians, the heads of the countries, meeting at some weird camp in the woods where they do mock human sacrifices. That's kind of creepy. So, if you guys could definitely, I mean, you have some really excellent investigative journalists there. So, if you guys could have them, you know, look into that, that would be awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate your call, sir. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Well, there you go, people. And yes, although it makes for excellent radio, I doubt that that woman is going to actually put any more effort into it than just that. I find it kind of interesting how she actually admitted on air, or I mean, sure she didn't know she was on air, but admitted to me right off the bat that uh, she uh, knew about the Bohemian Grove, and she didn't really bat an eye and say anything uh, you know, blow me off like normally they would when I was talking about the set, the, the human sacrifices and everything else. So I wonder how many people have called them up in the past couple of days. <laughs> and if you guys are out there that are doing it and you're, you hear this broadcast, keep doing it. You know, I hope you, anybody listening and or hears the rebroadcast or sees the video on YouTube, you know, I hope you get inspired. Call CNN, call Fox News, do the same thing we did with the Bilderberg group. You know, call them up and say, hey, there's these elite scumbags meeting in the woods. They're setting policy. And while they're setting policy, they happen to be doing mock human sacrifices. That's a little creepy. Okay. You think maybe just maybe we can, you know, investigate this a little bit. And that's why I added that little bit of sarcastic humor at the uh, end there. And I said, uh, hey, um, you know, you guys have such great investigative journalists. You know, hopefully they'll get involved and jump on it. Of course, they're not going to jump on it. Anderson Cooper is a Vanderbilt, and the, the the Vanderbilts related to the they come from the Astor fortune. <sighs> he uh, he's part of the problem. He's former CIA. So yeah, I don't. I I trust that Cooper's probably actually been to Bohemian Grove. And just never reported on it. I mean, he does have that look to him. He's got that that perfect pretty boy face and that that Ken doll haircut. So maybe he's been an attendee at the Grove, uh, like um, what's his name? That moronic rap star that Jay Z likes. His little protege, Kanye West. He's another one. That's there's people have uh, shown you know more than ample evidence to prove that he's a uh, a. Uh, a toy, as it were, at Bohemian Grove. He's a favorite that gets passed around. So, you know, there's more going on than meets the eye. So it is important for these mainstream media outlets to be bombarded by people, you know? Call up Fox. Call up MSNBC. Call up all these talk shows. You know, call up Sean Hannity's talk show. Harass the crap out of him. You know, Call up anybody's talk show, and even into next week because it goes on for – it's not like a, a three- or four-day event, like you know, maybe like a five-day event, you know, which I think is the longest that the, the Bilderberg group is. This is like a two-week event, I believe. It's like two weeks long, and it's obviously everybody's not there for two weeks. They come and they go and everything else, but I think <clears throat> like overall it, it, it's like uh, 12 or 14 days or something like that. So uh, you know, we need to bring attention to this. Not only are these people meeting in secret and breaking the Logan Act just like they would be uh, with the Bilderberg meetings, but they're also vi- – they're violating you know, our civil liberties at- – all while doing mock human sacrifices and worshiping Babylonian deities. But I'm not supposed to think that's strange at all. I'm supposed to say it's okay to see little girls getting groped by TSA because that's how you stop terrorism. Well, no, it's not okay, and I'm not going to say it's okay. You people are sick. You hear me? You sick bastards. We're coming for you. We'll be right back. Stop befriending me. He was only using me to be friends with the enemy. A presidential terrorist. Ain't that a contradiction? I guess it goes to show the truth. It's stranger than fiction. But they don't even show the truth when soldiers are missing. I'm only trying to show the truth.